Postscriptum has rebranded and is now called Squad44 and it has received a huge 10 GB update. So what has changed and is it worth reinstalling or buying the game now? Hello everyone, my name is Burning Wiki and welcome to my channel. And if you want to keep up to date with gaming news, then please subscribe to my channel. As you may or may not know, recently Postscriptum got sold to Offworld Industries, the same company who also owns Squad. And now they have rebranded and updated Postscriptum, which is now called Squad 44. They also added two new factions, the Greek and the Australians and a new map called Retimo. They added a lot of new weapons and fixed a bunch of bugs and that all sounds very good to me. So since I have not played Postscriptum or Squad 44 as it's called now in months, so my buddy Hussar and myself reinstalled the game and played a few matches hoping the game would look and run better. But that is not the case. The maps still look they were made in 2010. The game really looks dated. Even the new map Red Meow, although it looks a bit better than the older maps, it still does not look like something that was made in 2023 or almost 2024. We also hoped and prayed they changed this stamina drinking mechanic, but they did not. The whole game feels really clumsy and dated. For example, in game when you open the map, you expect to use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out but that is not the case it is the end key it is all very counterintuitive and does not come natural rebinding the keys also did not work good for example i wanted to use my thumb buttons to prone and crouch but the crouch just would not work in combination with my thumb button. My buddy Hussar was our squad leader and marking things on the map was also very clumsy when used to the great UI and interface like Hell Let Loose has. Instead of simply right clicking on the map, opening a map icon menu for you to mark things, it has a few extra steps and he just could not figure them out fast enough to be efficient because nothing feels like it should be. Nothing in this game comes natural or intuitive. It will take hours before you figure it all out. It is too clumsy and the learning curve is too high. This will scare away a lot of new players or prevent people from buying the game. It is the exact same problem Postscriptum had before. It was overall not a good experience. A lot of players were also complaining about performance issues. For them the Greek map was not running good and I seen some huge stuttering, rumber bending and lag as well. But the thing that will stand in the way of this game growing into a big game and be in competition or even surpass for example Hell Let Loose is the way this game is just too hardcore. If Hell Let Loose suffers from being too hardcore, then Postscriptum or now Squad 44 as it's called is far more hardcore. You only see friendly soldier icons by looking directly at them and then very poorly. There is no ping or a system that lets you mark things in Squad 44. Almost all soldiers have a single shot rifle, the same as Hell Let Loose was when it first launch. The squad leader cannot place any move markers you can see. That is no option to press a button that lets you see where the objective is or team markers or tank or infantry markers. You don't see your compass unless you press Y and then it disappears after a few seconds. 
it is very easy to get lost and lose your fellow squad and teammates or even team kill them and the drinking mechanic to replenish your stamina is awful because even normal walking or crouch moving drains stamina and once you had your seven drinks that is it it will take forever to recover stamina it is really a awful game mechanic one that should have been removed in my opinion long ago just remove it and keep the stamina as it is and let it replenish as fast as you do when drinking just without the drinking part I think for these reasons a lot of casual gamers will not reinstall or buy the game. I can remember Hell Let Loose running into these exact same problems and thus adding for example more automatic weapons over time and making the game a bit more arcadey to attract the casual players and Squad 44 will run into these exact same problems as well or should I say they will run into them again. That is probably why why it failed to be a commercial success in the first place. Both my friend Husa and I asked ourselves why did Squad even buy Postscriptum? Why did they not just take Squad and revamp that into a World War II game? Reskin it, add a few new updated maps and just have Squad and Squad 44 run both on the same server and being a one deal package on Steam instead of being two separate games that share one name. One game list server for both versions of the game, a modern shooter and a World War II shooter. The things that are done well in Squad 44 are the amount of vehicles, the way the uniforms look and the big maps. But I already noticed the maps may be very big, but the actual area you are fighting in is always small. Because everyone goes to the same objective and stays in that area, there is no reason to go anywhere else. Unlike in Hell Let Loose that forces you to go all over the map because you win or lose an objective. Squad does not work that way and thus having such a big map is really a disadvantage or a negative and not a positive in this regard. Right now the number of players that play Postscriptum or Squad 44 as it's now called is up by two times or even three times from what it was but that is just because of all the buzz around the game as it was sold and now rebranded and it has a new map and two new factions. But as soon as the new car smell wears off I wonder how many players really stick with it for the long term. If given the choice I will play Hell Let Loose and not Squad 44 as it stands now. I hope the game changes in the future uh, and Squad 44 keeps getting updates and it changes. But the same issues I had before with Postscriptum remain now it's called Squad 44. All in all in my humble opinion a lot needs to change because Postscriptum or Squad 44 is exactly the same as it was before and it failed as it was before. Yes it now gets updates but Hell Let Loose its close competitor does it all much better. This game can become a really good game. It has a lot of potential but it still needs a lot of work. So what do you guys think? Are you gonna reinstall or buy Squad 44? What do you think is this game on the right track? And what needs to change to be added or for it to become better? Let me know in the comment section. And I hope you found this video useful or interesting. And if you did that, please support the channel and leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. My name is Burning Wiki and I will see you all next time.